My roots are buried deep in the soil of Trinidad and Tobago. I was introduced to the world of hot peppers at a young age. My first taste of a super hot pepper was a scotch bonnet pepper. And I remember the intense heat and tears that followed. But I also remember the fruity taste and aroma that lingered after the heat subsided. From that moment on, I was hooked. It's difficult to find super hot peppers in southern Spain. Um, you know, by chance, you'll find some of the supermarket or maybe some, you know, tiny specialty supermarket where you can go buy organic foods and that sort of thing. But it's not easy to come by. You can't find it in a regular supermarket. Uh, some people say, well, you know, there's a lack of interest for spicy food in southern Spain. But yet still, one of the best-known dish out of Spain is called Gambas el Pilpil. Pil. And one thing that's special with that recipe is there's capsaicin in it. As I grew older, I continued to explore the world of hot peppers and tasted some of the hottest varieties available. But it wasn't until I discovered the Trinidad Maruga scorpion pepper that I truly found my passion. This pepper is considered one of the rarest and hottest naturally occurring pepper on the planet, with a heat level that can reach up to 2.2 million on the Scoville heat scale. Despite the intense heat, I couldn't get enough of the Trinidad and Ruga scorpion pepper. I would eat them raw with my meals. And even create my own hot sauces and spicy blends. My love for hot peppers became a part of my identity and I was known among my friends and family as spicy. As I grew older, I began to appreciate the cultural significance of hot peppers in Trinidad and Tobago. The islands are home to some of the hottest peppers. These peppers are not only a source of heat, but also a symbol of pride and heritage for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Today, I continue to indulge in my love for hot peppers and share my passion with others. I travel to hot pepper festivals and competitions where I can sample the hottest and rarest varieties from around the world. And I still enjoy the Scotch bonnet pepper, the one that started it all, for its unique flavor and heat. Looking back on life, I realize that my love for hot peppers has brought me on a journey of discovery and appreciation for the rich culture and history of Trinidad and Tobago. And I know that my love for hot peppers will never fade as it has become a part of who I am. But as a subscriber to my channel, you're entitled to two free Maruga scorpion seeds so you can start your own spicy garden. Haha. <laughs>